Hello friends, it's ChuloSoft here and in this uh, short video tutorial I am going to show you how you can uh, configure IDM to download with a uh, PC phone or any other proxy. So now here's how to go about it. Um, when I try to download something, I searched for a track uh, from by, done by Lil Uzi, produced by TM88 anyway, that doesn't even matter. Now, I'm going to copy the link location because my IDM is not integrated into my Firefox for some security reasons, I don't know. But, here's my IDM. Now, this is a custom build, uh, custom build version of IDM. So, your IDM might not look like this, but I'm going to drop a link in the description so that you get a similar IDM as well. So, now... Um, Let's try to download this file. I copy the, the the download location. I'm just gonna add the URL from there and click on OK. And I uh, earlier downloaded it. Let me just make a duplicate of it. So now, when it's like this, the the download will never start because the the proxy which our PC phone or Siphon is using. Is not the same proxy as IDM, so let me just try to download something else so that you, you see what I mean. Um, wait, I'm just gonna say install MP3 again. Yeah, I'm trying to say something like something from Lil Yachty. <laughs> oh, it's best that Lil Yachty. Uh, I spy this is a pretty good song but I'm not here to talk about the reality so give me this one okay now when I try to download this I'm downloading with IDM so I'm just gonna copy the link location and if I um let me just close this down or dialog if I try to add the URL here it's still the same thing it will never detect the download if for this down to start downloading, it has to show some size or something in. Or even if you make mistakes, um, cannot connect to proxy server 127, blah, 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 on that port. So now, IDM is still using this port while a siphon has shifted to another port. So now, here's how you remove this confusion. So what you would be doing is this, but I'll show you a better method later in the video. Here's what to do. You have to detect the current proxy which uh, Siphon Shield is using. So to do that, um, you can do it the manual way or the automatic way. Let me start with the manual way of doing that. So press start and search for proxy. Go to settings. This is Windows 8. So you just have to go to settings. That's when this option will come. But in Windows 10 or 7, it will just come direct as this option. So configure proxy now you must know that the, the internet profile you're using I'm using internet broadband just checking your modem UI which one is active so settings then go to our proxy server and advanced so now this is the proxy address I'm using and that's the port I'm using so now if you see the, the port is very different from the port being used by IDM. So there's a uh, there's a <laughs> sorry there's a mismatch in port, but the server is the same. So I'm just gonna copy that port. Um, options go to proxy and paste in there. See that's the port which IDM is using. Paste there and change this port as well. Since the server is the same, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Click on OK. And um, I might try it when you try to download to re-download this thing, it might uh, refuse to re-download. So you just have to go back to the link, copy it, and paste it in here. If you have integration, it will just uh, take off the download. So when I try to do this, if it fails, I'm just gonna go okay, it's accepted. Now my IDM is able to download. It's it's connected now. Please don't mind about the speed. It's gonna get very fast eventually. This is just a way of demonstrating to you how you can download using P or uh, Siphon or PC phone 
or whatever it is. So now that was the manual way I uh, I used. Now let me show you the automatic way. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm using a custom build of IDM. It's not the official, it's, it's a mod, uh, actually, it's a mod. So, uh, for the automatic way, this, I don't know if this occurs in other versions of IDM, but I think <laughs> it only occurs in this version. I don't know, maybe I haven't checked out the versions of IDM before, but the current versions of IDM don't have this option, which this is going to have. Um, let me try to, uh, let me just wait for the download to finish, I'll disconnect and I'll reconnect with a different port. And, um, okay, so it's done, I can even play it a bit. So let me just close off this. Um, okay, so now, here's what happens. Suppose I want to disconnect. Um, maybe I want to turn off my computer or something. And if I connect, if I reconnect, uh, what PC phone does is it's going to generate a random port, uh, which is going to be different from the former port. But that won't happen with IDM. IDM will still remain with the old uh, port, the one we pasted in there. So then that means each time you connect, you have to search for proxy, go into your proxy settings and copy the, the, the port from there and then paste it in here. Now, with this version of IDM, I'm having the custom bit, you don't have to do that. For you to automatically the, the port, the new port which uh, Siphon is using, you just have to go to this option which says get from IE. So when you click on that one, it updates the port so that's the new port it's using make sure you also update the port on https as well it is so that's the current port i'm using so each time you reconnect with a uh, siphon you have to do that so that's the manual way you have to do it now there's a much better way to do that to avoid you know changing the port each and every time you can just set a custom port which you can be using throughout so to do that, this is what you got to do. Uh, go to your uh, Siphon UI and go to Settings and go to, um, uh, yeah, this thing, Local Proxy Ports. So when I get to Local Proxy Ports, there will be HTTPS. So I can set, uh, these are the valid values, 1, 2, 6, uh, 5, 5, 3, 5. I would want to set something like um, 65534. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be 65534, something like that. And the socket might have something like 65535. Oh, no, maybe 33. Three. These should not be the same, they should be different. Sockets is another protocol, HTTP is another protocol. So, um, when you do this, just apply and save changes. Make sure you use the same proxy in IDM and you no longer have to update your, your thing, your, your IDM each and every time you launch it. You just have to be downloading directly. So I'm sure it was like uh, 65534, uh, 65534. So now, this time when I try to download something, um, maybe a different file oh damn still connecting okay hope it's connected now okay it's connected now so I'm just gonna copy the the download link copy because of integration I'm not able to the IDM is not able to automatically take over downloads so when I do this just click on start it will download without any problems with um, with uh, updating your port each and every time. Just set a specific port in Siphon and a specific port in IDM and that's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.